All right. What do these books have in common? Well, they all talk about protection training. Uh, the one I'm reading right now is this one. I read these two. These are great books. Um, training with a Touch with Tom Rose and uh, Anita Cheek. Controlled Aggression by Jerry Bradshaw. And now the latest book I'm reading is uh, Der Schutzen by Helmut Reiser. This is a book that was recommended to me by Dave Croyer. So anyway, so I'm reading about this stuff. So, the bookmark my daughter maybe. <laughs> um, so far I got a bunch of good things on here, but the one thing that I found really interesting is right here, fight drive, right? So the fighting drive. This is something that I myself have heard about for a long time. I've been training dogs for over 10 years now and from the very beginning of my dog training journey, because I started working with protection dogs and police dogs. The very beginning of my journey, I heard about this term, fight drive. You know, I heard about prey drive, defense drive, but fight drive is one thing that I heard about. And I've heard a lot of uh, handlers and trainers talk about this like it was a real thing. So through talking to different trainers, uh, ex uh, you know, learning myself, uh, and even listening to Roger Abrantes, an ethologist, you know, came to the conclusion through my personal experience, what I saw and talking to people, you know, that had accomplished a lot in the, in the doctrining industry, that fight drive is really not a thing, right? So if you look at Helmut Reiser's book, when he goes over fight drive, it says right here, the question of whether or not an independent fighting driver is actually actually exists in the dog is not yet clear. Some experts claim that there must be a special fighting drive which is presumed to be related to the play drive. I am of the opinion that the concept known as fighting drive is an oxymoron. The term drive describes part of an inherited trait which serves the purpose of sustaining life and species. Basically, if it, if it helps the species or helps the individual, that's really what a, what a drive is. Um, if dogs had the inherent drive to, or animals to just fight, then you could easily see how problematic that would be, right? So I am also of the opinion that what we call fighting drive is an extension of play drive. So you look at Tom Rose talking about fight drive is something very similar right so I believe a dog with high fighting drive is one who has high prey drive and at the same time is confidence and defense right so you go to Jerry Bradshaw so something very similar what trainers call fight drive is rather a combination of characteristics that are present when we properly stimulate both prey and defense instincts over time in a dog with a high capacity for self-confidence. He goes on and on to talk a little bit more about the different drives and fight drive. So he kind of uh, goes into a little bit longer. But, you know, here he adds, I cannot see fight drive as a separate drive for another reason. I don't believe it can be present when the drives of prey and defense are functionally absent. We have all seen dogs exhibit primarily prey drive or primarily defensive instincts. All right, so again, he goes on and on to say what he feels about uh, fight drive. This is something I had observed myself too. Um, you know, working with a lot of uh, protection dogs. And, I, you know, I tend to agree. And not, not because, you know, I read these books. I actually felt that way long before I had read these books, right? But the uh, seeing these people, um, you know, very, very good at what they do, um, kind of confirmed that and even hearing Roger Abrantes talk about fight drive as well 
in one of his talks, uh, it, it really seals the deal to me that fight drive doesn't make sense. Prey drive makes sense. It preserves the individual and it preserves the species. Defense drive preserves the individual, preserves the species. Fight drive really doesn't make any sense. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that because I found it very, very interesting.